Real estate teams are without question the future of real estate. It allows agents to have more fun, get more support, better training, have more culture, um, and ultimately build the business that they want. But there's a caveat to that. And what I want to explain in this video is the difference between a traditional real estate team and what I believe is going to be the massive disruption of the real estate industry, which are modern real estate teams or groups. And I'm going to explain the pros and cons and what you need to be mindful of going forward in order to help you build the business of your dreams. What's up, guys? If you don't know who I am, my name is Mike. Gerard, I train thousands of agents every single year to scale their business the modern way with social media. And I'm also at eXp and I've broken multiple records at the company. And what I want to explain to you today is the pros and cons first of a traditional real estate team, and then talk about a modern group that you should be mindful of going forward, because I honestly believe this is going to be a massive disruption to the real estate industry. So let's first unpack a traditional real estate team. Now, before I get into this, I'll say as a disclaimer, everything I talk about today, there might be exceptions out there, and there probably are exceptions exceptions out there. So just take this as I say, with a grain of salt applied to your own business. Um, but this is what I've seen through talking to thousands of agents and multiple teams as well. So when you look at the pro of joining a real estate team, oftentimes the pros are seen as the culture, the collaboration, the support, the community, they oftentimes give you leads as well in order to help you build momentum as a brand new real estate agent. Um, and those are really good pros and everybody should want that. Why wouldn't you wanna have a fun place to work where you feel like you're a part of something exciting and you have the ability to get more business and build momentum and get your business off the ground. Now, let's look at the cons for a second. Now, the cons of a traditional real estate team are that usually you've got a significant split on top of the brokerage split if your brokerage has a split. So typically, if you're an agent on a team, you're paying something like 50%. I had an agent that talked to me from a team, he just joined us uh, last week, and he said that he closed a $4,000 commission and he was left with $600 at the end of it after the brokerage splits, the team splits, the franchise fee and everything else that went into it, which is absolute insanity. Now, when you look at some of the other cons, you're also traditionally building the team leaders branding and their name, um, which makes sense. They're giving you business, you're helping build their team and their branding and you're using their branding, um, but it becomes a bit more difficult in order to become recognized for your own self within a team because you've got a lot of constraints in terms of what branding you can do, what marketing you can do, how you have to, again, run your business in accordance with how the team has structured theirs. Now, when we're comparing this to what I would refer to as like a modern real estate group, let me talk about a big difference here. When you look at a modern real estate group, like a cloud-based brokerage like eXp or some of the other ones out there, we are compensated through the company's dollar. When you look at a traditional real estate team, the team leaders or the group leaders are compensated through the agent's dollar. So what's happening when you look at a traditional versus a modern real estate group is that in a traditional sense, you are paying a massive split to get a certain amount of value. Whereas when you look at the modern way, you can get the same or more value for free because the company is compensating us. So let me break this down for you and explain from our group's perspective, just to give you an example. When you look at the culture, collaboration, and community, we've even had some of the executives at the company say that they've never seen culture, collaboration, and community like they have with our group. And if you look at the testimonials from the hundreds of agents that are in an organization, they have all said the same thing. They've never felt more connected, more part of a culture and a collaborative environment than they ever have, even at their past physical brick and mortar brokers that they could walk into. So you get that aspect of it. When you look at the training and support, let's look at support. Every single agent, seven tiers deep, gets direct access to my calendar and my sponsor's calendar for free, one-on-one -on -one support every single time. We've never missed a call since coming to the company. So now we've got the support taken care of. When you look at the training, all of our social media training, production training, real estate investment training, new agent training and revenue share growth training, or how to build your own team or your own group is given for free to every single agent, seven here's deep, because we are compensated through the company dollar. Now let's look at the cons of a traditional team. The cons are that you have to pay a significant split. Well, at a modern real estate brokerage, you don't have to pay a split, at least in our situation. There are many groups that you know give you a little bit extra and they charge for it. We don't. We just believe in delayed gratification and helping agents scale in a performance-based way where if we don't help you close deals, we won't make any company dollar, uh, which means that we just wasted our time, which we do not do. So that's why the success rate of the agents in our group are so massive. Now, let's look at building brand, for example. 
every single agent has the ability to build their own brand, their own way with their own colors and their own style. And they are recognized for them, their work and their business, not the overall organization because we've structured it that way because we can. Now, when we look at leads that are given to people, for example, I'm going to explain two things. One of the things that I see, which is very dangerous, is that a lot of these brokerages or teams that are promising leads, I've seen in multiple situations, and I won't disclose who or where or whatever, which brokerage, but in multiple cases, they ran out of leads that their agents are depending on for that additional split, and they started recycling dead leads from years ago to the agents that just came in trying to get them excited and say, hey, here's hundreds of leads that you can get from day one. And they were all dead and confirmed to be incorrect information. Also, if you start depending on a brokerage's leads or a team's leads, you're essentially becoming more like an employee because you're showing up servicing businesses given to you instead of an entrepreneur, which is figuring out how to get your own business. And that's why when you look at our group, for example, we educate our agents and show them and create a custom blueprint to each individual agent based on their market, their style of business and their goals in order to generate hundreds of leads a week themselves that they own, that they know how to do. So if something happens and I go away or another person above them goes away, then their business does not change. They're always able to scale because they know the strategies how to build it. So I really think it's important to look at the future of where real estate is going, where you don't have to pay a massive split to a team to get all the value that you could elsewhere. And this is one of the big problems is a lot of agents that start to build massive momentum at a real estate team start to feel resentment because they're paying this massive split to the point where they go start their own thing. Whereas when you're within a modern brokerage like EXP, like we are, you don't have to leave. You have the ability to build your own group within the same ecosystem, retaining all of your residual, retaining all your company stock and all the benefits that got you to that point. So I really urge you to think about the future of how you can become part of a modern community with massive support, next level training, the ability to generate your own business, being a part of a culture, a community, and a collaborative environment that is going to help you build and grow and scale your business without having to pay a ton of money for it. And that is why I think it's a massive disruption to the future of the real estate industry. So if you have any other questions, again, love to know your opinion on this topic because I know it's a bit sensitive and controversial, but I see it happening and I think we're going to continue to see it be a massive disruptor to the industry. So thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.